It's Box Office Friday. We've got new movies in theaters, which yeah. of course we means we have film critic Tony Toscano <laughs> here with the reviews. Well, thank you. We have, we have two uh, interesting movies. Let's start with Abominable. Right. Uh, I was going to say this is the big one, but it's big in another way. It's big in another way. You know, yeah. I really like this movie just because I gave it an A. Sure. This is uh, uh, about a, a, a girl who is suffering from the loss of her father who discovers a Yeti in the city and has to return the Yeti to its home in, on Mount Everest. So it's an epic adventure It's, here. A, it's really mm -hmm. a hero's journey because, sure. uh, again, for kids who uh, have to face grief and loss, this is a beautiful story. This kind of explains things to them. And with the use of music in the, in the film and, and how Yi, who is the hero in this movie, maneuvers through all of this and grows with every step, it is just a wonderfully done, wonderfully animated film, and it should be seen. Again, I gave it an A, and it is rated PG. Well, I like that it's going after something yeah. that's big that a lot of kids deal with. Yeah, and, and in such a way that it really kind of gently explains without hitting anybody over the head. It's just a, a marvelous story and so well written that you just really kind of empathize and fall in love with the characters in this movie, which is what any movie should do. Yeah, and this next movie also is a very deep yeah. study. This is uh, Judy. It stars Renee Zellweger as Judy Garland. This is based on the stage play, The End of the Rainbow, and it examines the last six months of Garland's life as she prepares to do a series of concerts in London yeah. in 1968. And what this movie does, and I, I'll tell you this right up front, we probably should just go ahead and hand Renee a, an Academy Award for this yeah. performance. A lot of people have been saying that already. Uh, she is just absolutely spot on and amazing in this film. Now, I gave the movie a B for this reason. It, it, it tries to examine her life, but what it does is it doesn't give us a real story. Uh, you're, you're talking about performance here, and the performance is, like I said, pretty much flawless. And Renee sings, and, and, and she really tackles this role. But when it comes to explaining Garland's life and her relationship with her ex-husbands, her kids, it falls short. It doesn't give us enough. So you like the acting, but the storyline has a little work to, to be Yeah, done. we need more, you know, the, the, the movie itself needed to let us see behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. to, to, you know, steal from the Wizard of to Oz. To steal sure. from the Wizard of Oz. She mm -hmm. does, the, there are flashbacks of her as a young girl arguing with Louis B. Mayer about how she should approach the role as Dorothy, and it shows the manipulations that the studio did to her, uh, you know, to get her on pills, to make her lose weight. All of that stuff is examined, but it really doesn't make those hard connections as to why she is so protective of her children. And, and it, it, it does go into some detail about how she was swindled and you know the, her, her financial situation toward the end of her life. She was only 47 or 48 when she passed away. Mm -hmm. And we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of that, of that passing now. Uh, again, it is well worth seeing for the performances. Again, I give it a B. It is rated PG-13. All right, so you have obviously some two yeah. movies with a lot of acclaim here this morning, and a movie who has some controversy. You have a giveaway for. Yeah, we're doing a. Uh, we're continuing our giveaway of Joker uh, movie passes. This is uh, done through our relationship with Fandango and sure. Talking Pictures, and these are run of engagement tickets. So if you yeah. can't go to you know one of the one of the big screenings, you can go any time. So all you have to do is go to the website talkingpictures.tv. Please follow the prompts and follow all the instructions. Mm -hmm. It's very few instructions, but I always say you got to follow them, Brian. Better safe than sorry right there. You see yeah. the obviously the giveaway option right there. And of course, if you want to follow Tony's reviews, go online. Facebook's the place. TV's talking pictures. Like the page. You will like the reviews. Tony, thanks for walking us through that this morning.